Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? Today's video is Dragalia Lost. I'm here to talk about Gala Ellie. And of course, before we start, I just wanted to quick mention I am currently doing an ongoing series about, um, uh, fake, about Fake Grand Order. I'm basically playing through Salem. They have a brand new story chapter. I'm reading through it all. It's a lot of just mostly me reading, so if you just want to hear my voice and then me occasionally chirping in there, if you want to hear a very bad fresh a French accent, check it out. Um... That's today's sponsor for today's video, because, you know, gotta support yourself, gotta constantly be out. I play a lot of games, so <laughs> I like my fake videos, too, and I would like it if more people saw them. But if you got the chance, of course, you know, if you're busy, you know, you do you. You should also, you know, if you like this video, you should leave a like. Anyway, I was able to pull Gala Ellie off screen. If you saw my summon video, you'll notice I ended that with not pulling her, but during the last days of the free pulls, I was able to get her, so pretty happy about it. So we're gonna go in. This is my setup, basically, is that she's gonna go in there because if I try and um, I'm more play, than just an ace lock picker, you know. Right, Didn't work on me, no. The voice is automatically distracting me. We're gonna be running her through the dragon trial and the imperial onslaught. I'm not gonna be doing the advanced dragon trial just simply because I don't want to ruin someone's attempt at trying to beat it with me trying to test out a character. But the dragon trial and the imperial onslaught show off enough because um, those are the two basic events you'll be running a whole lot about uh back and forth so they're important so let's go into it all right and of course they'll be going in by themselves because if i had a full team they would just automatically die um before we start i forgot completely to mention what the gala ellie even did she has holy accord which increases the strength of water tuned adventurers in the team by 30 percent for 15 seconds and she has Celestial Ascent, deals water damage to the enemy directly ahead, increases the energy level of the, by three stages, increases the user's energy level by three stages, increases the entire team's flame resistance by 25% for 30 seconds, and grants all teammates one huge shield that nullifies damage less than 20% of the user's maximum HP. Neither this shield nor the increase in flame resistance stack. The skill gauge for this skill can be filled by attacking enemies, but it will also gradually fill automatically during Divine Revelation. Um, abilities that increase skill uh, gauge rate will not affect the automatic increase. When the user is not under the effects of Divine Revelation, attack enemies will still fill the gauge, but it will decrease automatically over time unless the gauge is already completely filled. This is an insane skill. When an adventurer's energy level reaches level 5, they will become energized and their next attack or recovery skill will be upgraded. At this point, using an applicable skill will receive the adventurer's energy level to 0. Whew! Um, she got defense for her co-op ability. Um, she has Divine Oath. Uh, she gains, she, at least will gain Divine Revelation effect for 13 seconds if any of the following occur. The four strikes connect. She uses a skill, or she executes a 10 hit combo. The effect cannot be stacked, and when the get is activated, Elsing will be immune to knockback. Uh, reduces his ability to burning and stun by 100%. And increase the strength of an adventurer you are currently controlling by 10% for 10 seconds every time your initial skill, displayed in the top of their skill list, becomes available for use. After activating, the event will not activate again for 15 seconds. Oh, okay. And then her equipment is I don't have a water axe for her. I have beach battle. Oh, can I not show off beach battle? There it is. Um, really? Okay, well, I'll start with this one. Uh, this is skill haste and striking haste, 5% and 8%. This is Wily Warrior's Flash and Heat Man. Um, I think a better worm print for her would actually be strength related, but I don't, I don't know which one is that one currently. So I'm still experimenting with her, obviously. <laughs> trying to do my best, trying to figure out what's best to run for her. And Beach Battle, which is uh, water skill haste up by 7%, max 15%. Buff time, 20% up, max 20%, which increases uh, how much longer she can use her skills. So let's go into it. Ooh. That was a whole lot of reading, man. Um, but basically what you want to do is, as it said, force strike, get 10 hit combos, do all that fun stuff. So let's do that with a boss that flies away. Okay, let's go. This is a decisive battle. Let's yeah. go, everyone. Yes, let us give this one an eternal rest. I realize how hard it is to hit a 10 hit combo, first of all, with Axe, because they are the um, slowest in terms of their, what their skill does. Okay. 
Okay, she got, there she is, getting to find, so it's for every four strike, okay. For every combo, then activate. There you go, stay, 10%. I will show you how human and dragon become one. Okay, let me quickly go over here, kill some of them, and now she's gonna do her X combo. Where did she go? Is she all the way over there? Really? I mean, there's nothing I could do. I could go to the other side. I also realize that Ellie does not do the... Ah! She does when she's in Halloween form. Which is very sad for me. Again. Okay. There we go. Broken. Let's finish this. Let's do a set. There we go. And I'll say again, her ability, it's going super slow, but that's only because she's by her alone by herself. If she was in a team right now, she would be going off like crazy. Okay, let me end this fight now. Okay. Right there. And then we'll go on to Imperial Onslaught. Yeah, so she's interesting, because that second skill can't be just like... As it said, like, it has to be done by using Nothing the very specific things that you need to boost it up by. Alright, next one. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Imperial Onslaught time. This is the wrong one. There we go. Now, the good thing about Gala units is that they can literally be used on both ones. Like, it doesn't matter. Now, let's see how fast this thing can go if she's killing a whole bunch of enemies, as you see here. Because she'll... I wonder if it counts for everyone that gets hit by the Force Strike or something? We'll see. I shall ever be the exemplar of the Goddess's will. There we go. I've got just the prescription for this. Here, hit him up, get them down, get them up into the air, then boom, boom. Oops, I completely forgot about this move. Get him up that, get a little attack boost. Alright, doing alright so far. Not paying too much attention to the fact that I'm constantly getting damaged. Alright, got this activated. Ooh, are you okay? As promised. Alright. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Again, this is a unit that's like attuned for being used in a supportive way, but she's not doing she's no slouch for sure. I have had no problems. The enemy's almost passed out. Now's our chance. Here and then. Oh, yeah. but because of her energy level, I don't think she can use another one till the last skill. Okay, so I wanted to test out. Yeah, if you don't bunch of them, the whole all of it charges up. That would be great for when um she's doing uh, what's it called? Like one of those um I can't remember the name of them, I'm sorry. It's late. I always record these super late and I always forget what everything's called. Let's end it with like... Uh, raids. Not raids. We're sure to get through this safely. Either way. We beat it. Not bad. Not bad. Nothing to fear with the Grand Paladin at your side. Go into the team here. So, how is Ellie? Obviously, Ellie is extremely good. Uh, she shines in the harder content. Like, it's hard to really like show it off, just because I literally have a rule set that I can't ruin any. I can't ruin anyone's um, game that they're playing. But being, uh, uh, she's just super versatile. If you have her, basically, be extremely happy that you have her. I don't know. Um, 
she's obviously doesn't I don't think she reaches Galicleo. You'd need to have a better player explain to you if she's as good as Galicleo. Uh, you need someone like Lerp, I have not asked him. Uh, but I think it's pretty obvious that she's extremely good. Um, her first ability is nuts. Like the only competition that she has is really the fact that um let me check real quick before I start running my mouth. It's like water axes. Yeah, from what I can see, not really any, not much competition. But here is her actual number one competition. Where is it? No, I forgot your. There we go. Here she is. This is her competition. You'll notice that a lot of people put Ellie up for um, their their friend spot, and it's because of this move. Um, and this, funny enough, this move is actually better on. So here's the main difference, is that this Ellie only boosts, um, no, this Ellie boosts every type. The other one, I think it's a higher boost, but it's only water. Yep, 30%, 15 seconds, but it's only water types. So for certain team builds, you're going to want to use the other one. But for pure water teams, she's going to be amazing. The only thing that's negative, I guess, is the only negative I can come up with is that she can't be used in those teams that are like super cheesy that use Galicleo that use the prince and uses her because if you were able to combine all three of them with all three of their crazy hacks abilities all events would be done in like three seconds flat <sighs> but yeah that's Gala Ellie I'm glad I have her she's a fantastic Gala unit she's a great Ellie unit just look at her she's amazing all right and I'm really happy I got her now I can just get ready for Dragul. so that's today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. Tell me your feelings about uh, Gala Ellie if you have any besides I wish I pulled her. Actually, if you want to tell me you wish you pulled her, tell me you wish you pulled her. It's fine. I'll listen to you out, bro. And until next time, have a good day. And have a good night. And sleep well. Bye.